On the previous video, we were explaining the hash. And what is exactly the hashing? Hash is a protocol that can be used to verify the integrity of the file and to validate if the file has been modified or not. And I wanted to show you an example. So I went to a specific website and I downloaded a program called Crypt Tool. But I noticed that be below any download link, there is a code. Actually, there is two, SHA-1 and MD5, SHA-1 and MD5. So I downloaded one of those. I downloaded the Crypt Tool Beta English version on my desktop. And this is the program, as you can see. Now, I need a program to validate the hash of this file and to make sure that the hash here is the same hash that exists on the website. And we have a very good application that does that. It's called the Hash Calculator. And I'm going to add the link for you to be able to download this program because actually this is a very, very important program to have on your computer. It allows you to verify that the file has not been modified. So if I open the Hash Calculator, it's a free tool. And then I can grab this file and I can put it here. And once I grab the file and put it here, it will give me the hash of this file. And I can then compare this hash with the hash that I have on the website. So if I check here, SHA1, as you can see, is the same hash. So this is the hash here for this file, which is the same as here. So now I know that this file is not including any other malware inside. I know that this file has not been modified. So this is how to prevent warping that we explained on the previous video. But hash can be used in different way. Even in data file, you can still use hash. So it can be used to make sure that the programs that you are installing does, is not including any kind of malware or malicious ware or anything, but it also can be used for files. So for instance, let me create a file here and uh, text document, let me create a name that like uh, secret and I'm going to write anything inside and I will save it. So when I run, when I run the hash on this file, it will give me a hash code. Hash code does not mean that the file content has been encrypted. I mean, if you verify the file, it's still the same, except it's giving you a value. And if you do any modification in this file, let me let assume that I added dot or a point and I save this file and I try to get the hash, it will be a complete different value. So now when I'm sending someone a file and I want to make sure that no one has been intercepting this file or modify this file or even add some malware to the file, I can get the hash of the file and I send the file and I also tell him, please be aware that the file hash is Z. So he can install this any or any kind, any kind of hash calculator and verify that the file has not been modified. So hash, it's a technique in cryptography that allow to verify the integrity. It do not encrypt the content of the file. It just check if the file has been modified or not. And by the way, hash is not related with the file name. I mean, if I, if I have two different files with the same content, you're going to have the same hash. So it's not related with the content of the file. So if I rename this one to ABC, for instance, sorry, if I rename this one, If I rename this file to any other name, ABC, and I didn't change the content, the file will include the same hash. It will not change. So it's also a way to verify the content of the file. If you have some files, I need to know which file are similar, exactly similar, and they have a different file name, you can also use the hash algorithm. So hash, it's a way for checking the integrity of the file, it can be used for uh, application, just to make sure that the application is not including any malware, it can be used for data file, it can be used for checking similar files, it's a very, very 
effective tools that you can use.